In this video, I'm gonna be going over electrical box fill calculations. So if you're trying to figure out how many of these wires can go inside this box, we're about to find out. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money, so be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. So the first thing we're gonna do is look inside this box because it's gonna tell you exactly how many wires can go into it. A fast and easy way to determine how many wires can go inside a box, if you look inside the box, most boxes will have these numbers stamped in the back. Not these exact numbers because it depends on the size of the box, but as you can see, if you see that 8 slash 12, 9 slash 14, and 7 slash 10. What exactly does that mean? Well, they're volume allowances. So I'm gonna show you the breakdown of what a volume allowance really is. Let's go to the whiteboard. The electrical box I just showed you the close up of was this 18 cubic inch outlet box, or it could be used for switches as well. It's a single gang, probably the most common electrical box in the United States. So what did the numbers mean that were inside of that box? Well, let's take a look. So let's go over the first one, 9 slash 14. What does that mean? So if you're using 14 gauge wire, you can have up to nine volume allowances within that box. If you're using 12 gauge wire, you can have up to eight volume allowances. And if you're using 10 wire, you can have up to seven volume allowances. So what is a volume allowance? Well, let's take a look here. So we have the wire, each wire that is of that gauge counts as one. So there's one volume allowance per gauge wire. So if we take a look here, this conductor is counted as one. This conductor is counted as one volume allowance. So that's two volume allowances. Then the grounds that you see here in the middle, we're gonna address that in just a second. But I just wanted to clear the air. So if you have this 12-2 coming in, you automatically have one volume allowance for the neutral and one volume allowance for the black. So that's just something I wanted to point out right away because that's very important to note. And now, as far as the grounds go, they only count as one volume allowance up to four grounds. So anything beyond the four grounds, if there's four grounds in the box, anything beyond that, you count as 0.25 volume allowances. So a quarter volume allowance. So for instance, if you had a 12 wire coming in and you had two grounds, you would only count one volume allowance. But if you had five 12 wires for whatever reason coming in, you would count it as 1.25 volume allowances. So that's uh, something that was a relatively new update in the code book. And now we have receptacle and switches. Each yoke or strap on a outlet or switch is counted as one volume allowance. So if you're wondering what that is, so if you take a look at this outlet, this strap here and this strap here is each count as one. So the whole receptacle counts as two volume allowances. So that's just something that's very important and same for switches. If this was a switch, it'd be one volume allowance, two volume allowance. So it'd be a double volume allowance, which would be two. So that's something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. So let's take a look at the next thing. We got internal clamps. So inside of a double gang box, you're gonna have clamps that when you push the wire through, they're already built into the box most of the time and it won't allow the wire to come out. That's called an internal clamp. And all those in that whole box counts as just one volume allowance. So if you're using a two gang box, you're gonna have multiple um, internal clamps, but it only counts as one volume allowance. So keep that in mind. And uh, so that is the gist of how you're gonna use the numbers inside the electrical box to give you a fast and easy calculation. But I'm gonna go over an example on how to use those numbers to calculate the wires. Then we're gonna go over the official cubic inch volume per volume allowance after that. So I'm gonna take this example and calculate the box fill on it. So this is an 18 cubic inch box like I just showed with two 12 wires coming into it. So let's go to the whiteboard and break it down. So let's say we're gonna install this receptacle in that outlet box. So if you remember correctly, we had two 12 two wires coming into the outlet box and then we're gonna install this actual receptacle in the outlet box. So we have a total of four 12 wires coming into it. So each two wire is two 12 gauge wires. So one, two, three, four. And then we have one volume allowance for the grounds. Even though there's two grounds coming in, it only counts as one volume allowance. Remember, we can have up to four for that. And then the outlet itself counts as two volume allowances. So that gives us a total of seven volume allowances. And if you remember correctly, that we can have up to eight volume allowances for 12 wire. So that would pass code. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the actual cubic inches of volume taken up in the box per wire. So as I mentioned before, this box is rated to have 18 cubic inches of space to be taken up in it. So what exactly does that mean? How's that calculated? Well, let's take a look. Here's the table that tells you what size wire and how much volume each wire is considered to take up. So if you look here, we have a six wire that would take up five cubic inches of volume and et cetera, as you see down this chart. But let's jump over to the 12 wire and 14 wire because that's the most common size wire people are gonna be using. So if we look at the 12 wire, that's gonna take up 2.25 cubic inches of volume and the 14 wire is gonna take up two cubic inches of volume. So not only is that the volume of the wire, but that's a volume allowance for the other items that are in the box as well. So let me explain. So let's take a look here. This is the example we just had a moment ago. We had the two 12 wires coming into the outlet box and the actual outlet. So that gives us a total of four 12 gauge wires, okay? So you would take 2.25 times that by four, and then all the grounds equal just one, even though there was two. So that would be one volume allowance, which would be 2.25 times one. And then the outlet itself is worth two. So that would be 2.25 times two, which gives us seven times 2.25, which is 15.75 cubic inches of volume that would be taken out of this box. So that again would pass code because it's below the 18 inches. So what would you do if you had to add an extra 12-2 wire? Let's say you had to jump out of a bedroom outlet to power a hallway outlet or something like that. Then you should upgrade to the 22.5 cubic inch box, which it's a little deeper so it can hold more volume. So you always wanna check in the back of the electrical boxes to see how much volume they can handle. So if you didn't have the luxury of having the numbers stamped in the back of the box like I showed you at the beginning of this video, just know the cubic inches of the box and then take a look here and do the math using the table. And don't forget, if it's a two gang box or more, you're gonna have the internal clamps you gotta consider. So let's do a walkthrough of a two gang box with internal clamps. Something I wanted to mention inside the single gang boxes, these are knockouts up in the top corner right here. So inside of a double gang box, these are considered internal clamps. So those, these would not take up any volume in the box to where these internal clamps would take up one. Let's see if this box passes code. So we got a 12-3 wire coming in for our fan light combo. Then we got the power coming in to energize the whole room. Then we got a powered continued. Then we got a power continued. So let's add up all this and see if it passes. The very first thing I did was I looked inside that two gang box and it said I can have 15 volume allowances if I have 12 wire in there. And it is a 34.5 cubic inch allowance inside that box. So if you see here, we have two switches, one for the fan, one for the light, and we got three 12-2 wires going into it and a 12-3 wire going into it for the fan light combo. So let's break it down. So we got nine volume allowances for all the wire that's going into that box, and we got one volume allowance for the grounds. So there's four grounds in that box. So that's no more than the four to where we got to add the 0.25. So it's right at that cutoff to where it still counts as just one volume allowance. Then the internal clamps inside that two gang box counts as one volume allowance. And then we have a switch here, which is two volume allowances. Then another switch, which is a, two more volume allowances. And if you add it all up, that's 15 volume allowances and that's maxed out according to the 15 slash 12 that we read inside the box. And if you do the math, you times that by the 2.25, that gives us 33.75. So that box is maxed out. There could be no other wires going into that box. And in a case like that, it's fine, but you always try not to max out the boxes like that, but sometimes you do, but it passes code and that's all that matters. All right, guys, I just wanna say thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get more how to build a house tips and get more videos on electrical, plumbing, framing. I do it all on this channel. And again, check out my Amazon store if you wanna find any of the electrical, plumbing, or framing supplies I use. And I do get a small commission, but it's at no extra cost to you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.